Reporting from the Q Television Center with news from your region, we are the first for news that matters to you locally, regionally, and nationally. This is QTV News. With your lifestyle news update, I'm Bob Huggins. There's anger after Sinn Féin President Gerry Adams said he doesn't believe that Gardaí colluded in the IRA murders of two senior RUC officers in 1989. Chief Superintendent Harry Breen and Superintendent Bob Buchanan were gunned down in County Armagh while on their way home from a high-level meeting at Dundalk Garda Station. But Mr Adams says the report's findings are contradictory and that the officers had a laissez-faire disregard for their own security. His opinion has outraged others. SDLP Justice Spokesperson Alba McGuinness said his attempts to place blame on the victims is nothing short of appalling. Visitor numbers to Northern Ireland jumped by 15% this year, according to Tourism Ireland. A March increase in revenue has also been generated by overseas visitors, worth around £438 million. And Tourism Ireland says it hopes to attract more than 2 million visitors a year to Northern Ireland by 2016. The plan was unveiled this morning by Stormont Minister Arlene Foster as she launched details of the body's marketing plans for the province next year. A survey has found that most parents in Northern Ireland struggled to pay for childcare at some point last year. A total of 4,396 parents responded to the Northern Ireland Child Care Cost Survey. Respondents reported that on average, 44% of their net weekly earnings are allocated to childcare. And one other story, gale force winds are set to hit Northern Ireland tomorrow. Gusts of up to 70 miles an hour are forecast as a yellow warning is issued by the Met Office. The conditions will be particularly stream near coasts. The Met Office says the public should be aware of the potential for significant disruption, particularly to transport. And you can keep up to date by logging on to Q Lifestyle or by tuning in to Q Radio.